Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, Triple V here, and today we're just doing a quick short video on how to score uh, above 20,000 points in the Amulet of Reflection Craft, which is the current ongoing event that Madhead is having. And for clocking in your 20,000 points, you'll be receiving a bunch of rewards, and the most important is a happy and let's face it, when there's a happy on the line, who isn't going to do what we're supposed to do? So. Having a quick look through some of these um, Amulet of Reflection uh, crafts, if memory serves me correctly, we currently have a total of 9 of these, and uh, we're just zooming through some of these uh, crafts. I'm sure many of you out there have collected them already, and if you haven't co collected the more rarer ones, I'm sure some of these more common uh, Prayer Peak Amulets will be given to you upon reaching level 10. So. Even if you haven't been doing your achievements for your uh, Dragonary Crafts, I'm sure you would have received a few uh, just by reaching level 10. And I'm assuming if you're watching this video, uh, you would have reached level 10 already. If not, you'd probably be reaching level 10 in the next few hours. So <laughs> let's not kid ourselves. Uh, we got a few there to happen. And uh, what we're going to look at in this video is just a few tips that I've um, been looking around, gathered myself as well as uh, tips that other people have shared and just uh, put it into a video, put it into action and hopefully it will help everyone. So before further ado, let's have a look at how, uh, let's have a look at the list of tips that I've collected. Okay, first and foremost, we're going to start off with something very basic and that is to lay your device flat. Uh, if you have a curved back device, try and get something that props the back, but uh, it's really important here that you keep your device flat, try not to play on a uh, when you're traveling or definitely not when you're driving, you just, you're asking for it, come on, don't do that to people on the road, don't drive and play, that's... That's like almost worse than drinking and driving. But um, anyway, back on topic, uh, lay your device flat so that you can uh, actually see the entire screen and you don't want to be struggling to balance your phone or iPad or whatever it is uh, up and down with your hands and at the same time trying to tap the screen. That's just um, not going to work out for you. So the second point would be to use two fingers to play. Now some people might say, uh, you know, I may have 10 fingers but I only have one finger dedicated to my phone or only one developed enough to actually play Tower of Saviors with. And uh, hey, usually I might agree with you, but really you need to use two fingers. Um, try use uh, index finger of your left hand and the index finger of your right hand. And that's how you're going to get a really nice fast tempo going without blocking the screen and without uh, breaking your rhythm. The third point, uh, don't dare lock your eyes on the screen. Now has this ever happened to any of you guys? You look at the left corner, the right corner, the top corner. And then the other top corner, and you're like, crap, I can't find anything useful. Uh, yeah, that's called deadlocking. So uh, don't lock your eyes on a certain portion of the screen. The reason I ask you to put your device flat is definitely because it's easier to see the entire bigger picture. Instantly, if you have any friends or family who uh, are struggling with things in their life, why don't you ask them to, in a nice way, take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Usually you can get a lot more solutions and answers that way. Next point will be uh, the 2 plus 1. What I mean by 2 plus 1 is Amulet of Reflection works very simply. It's not like Destruction Craft. Destruction Craft may allow you to tap 2 runes and dissolve them. However, it will not add to your combo. So when you're playing with a Destruction Craft, you have to constantly remind yourself to be 3 and above. So in Destruction Craft, that's 3 plus. However, in Amulet of Reflection, it is just 2 plus 1. You just need to look out for a group of 2 runes, any two, any color, and find one other guy all alone by himself or more somewhere else. So all you're trying to do is initiate it by tapping a group of two or bigger and completing it with a group of one or bigger. Okay, next will be uh, to ramp up your combos fast first. Don't focus on the big chunks too much. I know uh, we all like to be greedy, so we all like to scan the screen for the biggest chunk possible. But to, in all honesty, until you've crossed about 10 in your combos, uh, uh, targeting those big chunks don't really do much at all. Uh, this is due to the fact that you need a combo uh, count in order to get a higher multiplier. And you'll see in the video, in fact, that a uh, majority of the points actually come towards the last one third or one quarter 
of your timer. So in the first half, definitely you don't want to focus on too many big groups. You just want to get small chunks going pretty fast. That helps you ramp up your combo count quickly and that is what will allow you to accumulate your points quickly. So once you've ramped up a good amount of combos, I'd say about seven or eight, uh, ideally 10, this is when you start focusing on big chunks and enchanted runes. Uh, big chunks because the more, uh, the bigger the chunk it is that you dissolve, the more points you'll be getting. Enchanted runes because if you hit an enchanted rune, it will take out all runes of that color, which is almost as effective or more effective in fact than hitting the big chunk. So. If you're able to hit small chunks but target enchanted runes, you've got a pretty good chance of hitting your high score as well. And finally, develop a rhythm and stick to it. You really want to make sure that uh, you have a good rhythm, you know, a good 1-2, one, 1-2 two, one, two going. Uh, you don't want to have a, a weird kind of like tap and then oh, uh, tap again, uh, tap 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 yeah you, you get the uh, point I can do this all day but um <laughs> I won't because you'll go crazy and um, moral of the story you just want to make sure when you tap get it nice and steady just do a one two one two one two and eventually you'll be able to uh, get your combos consistently important not to break your combo by tapping uh, for example earth runes and then accidentally tapping fire runes that will definitely break your combo and look out for when you're tapping big chunks you might be tapping the other arm of that big chunk uh, which you see me do in my video uh, twice actually uh, luckily I was able to recover from that uh, quickly enough to continue on to score a big point uh, uh, at least more than 20,000 so uh, if you look at that it's definitely it shows that you can make a mistake or two, so long you don't break your combo, um, you still have a fairly good chance of getting that 20,000. So that's it guys, we'll have a quick look at the video I made, uh, recorded rather, that uh, managed to score more than 20,000. And once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy to score at least 17, 18,000 consistently, uh, depending on the board setup, uh, how lucky you are, how quickly you spot those enchanted runes. But uh, if you guys are hitting that kind of score already, it's only a matter of time until you're able to hit more than 20,000. So keep practicing, keep going for it. And that is one of the only ways that you're gonna hit it and get that magnificent happy, happy love. All right, guys, that's it from me. I will check you guys out next time. And uh, yeah, may the luck be in your favor for your next diamond draw. See you guys.